you talk about how the beasts are powerful creators. And I understood that from a point of uh, them being free, basically be, being free of any resistance. Mostly they are. And you can domesticate them into resistance, and sometimes you do, but right. mostly they are resistance free. But here I'm mostly thinking of, you know, beast, the wild beast. Yes. And I took that thought a little further and think, well, if indeed they are that free of resistance, then should that, shouldn't that make them even more powerful creators than we are, since we are so full of resistance? Yes, it does. But they've come with different intention than you have. In the same way that they are freer of resistance, they also focus less upon desires. And, and that's really the distinction. You have the potential to focus your thoughts in more deliberate creation than the beast mm. does, which is the reason that you have greater resistance. It's like the baby, right, right. That the, even the human baby is resistance-free for the most part, but mm -hmm. this little baby doesn't focus deliberate creation like someone longer in their body either. It's the same sort of thing. So the, the perfect life would be to have the focused mind of the genius human and the absence of resistance of the wild beast. Mm -hmm. So then the, the distincting factor is of intensity of focus. Focus without resistance without will bring resistance. you whatever you're focused upon. And the intensity of it has to do with how much you care about it. And so we are really enjoying your train of thought here because so it seems, could it be possible then that I could really, really, really want something in an absolute resistance-free state of being? Mm -hmm. And we say, it's possible, but you usually have to work your way into it because the way you came to want it so much was because you honed it from the contrast.